Hi, I'm Adam Drake, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about clutches and show you how I inspect and measure my clutch so that I know when it's time to replace the shoes. As your shoes get worn, the clutch will start to engage later. So if it engages later, that means the engine is at a higher RPM when the shoes start to engage with the bell. And typically, that's going to make the clutch start to slip more. So if you picture it as if you were in, a, in your real car and you just apply just a slight amount of throttle and slowly let the clutch out, if you have a manual transmission, it's going to accelerate really smooth. If you give it more throttle and then slowly let the clutch out, it's going to slip the clutch. So it's kind of what happens is as the shoes get worn, they touch the bell at a higher RPM, it slips so you start to lose performance. It's not going to accelerate as hard and especially when the vehicle is loaded in the face of a jump, it's not going to be able to kind of drive through the jump or, ex or accelerate through the jump quite as good. It's going to want to slip in the face, make it a little bit harder to time jumps. So the measurement that I'm going to uh, let you guys know is what I use for the ProTech clutch. This same measurement can be used for the associated four-shoe clutch or the TLR four-shoe clutch. But you can use this kind of same method for pretty much any clutch system. What you need to pay attention to though is when you put a new clutch in, everything feels great, you like the performance, you need to just pay attention to when that performance starts to go away and if you start to feel that the clutch is slipping more and you're losing performance. With whatever clutch you're using, you can use this same method that I'm about to show you. Measure your clutch, write down that number uh, in your notebook, on your toolbox, whatever, so that you know when you're servicing your clutch, you're putting new bearings in, you can always check that measurement. And as you're getting closer to that measurement or once you get to that measurement, you know, hey, it's time to change my shoes. With the Mugen 3 shoe clutch, I used to pretty much run the shoes until the, the spring would just start to wear. So once the shoe was worn enough to where it was the same height as the spring, because it's a little bit more difficult to measure with a three shoe clutch than a four shoe clutch, because what I'm gonna do is actually measure two of the shoes directly across from one another at the tip or the most worn spot. So I'll go ahead and change the camera angle and show you how I measure the clutch and then also go over the number or the measurement when I know it's time to replace the shoes for my ProTec clutch. Okay, so it's a pretty simple method. So this is something that I like to do pretty much every time I'm getting ready to service or change the clutch bearings, just check everything out before a final. As you can see, this clutch is brand new. I have two carbon, two aluminum shoes. But all you need to do is just have a pair of digital calipers. Make sure you zero them out. And then you will just measure from the very tip of two of the shoes. And you can see here it's at 24.3. I'm going to do the same thing with the aluminum shoes. That measurement should be pretty much the same. 24.3. So that's when the clutch is brand new. In my opinion, that's when it's going to perform at its best. It's going to engage at a lower RPM, which is going to be a smoother delivery of power, and there's going to be less slip in the clutch. So it's also going to be the most efficient and have uh, the best runtime. So again, I check this anytime I'm getting ready to service and replace my clutch bearings. And the measurement that I'm looking for is 23.4. So if the shoes are worn to that 23.4, that's pretty much my limit with the ProTech clutch. And that would also be the limit with the associated clutch and the TLR four shoe clutch. Now, 
You can run the clutch beyond that 23.4 millimeters, but like I mentioned, clutch is gonna slip a little bit more and you're gonna lose a little bit of performance and also your runtime is gonna be slightly reduced. 